This is the final video for our lesson on simulating events. This is extension binomial probability, 15.7c. We're up to 20 previous videos for this chapter 15, and there's a link in the description in case you become lost or confused so that you can watch the chapter or the videos you missed. Given that an event can occur or not occur, the probability of our successes in a sample size of n is given by this formula. And we've been working with this n choose r throughout this chapter. And remember, it's the number of combinations of n objects taken r at a time. And we can write it with factorials. We did that back in 15.3a. If you didn't learn about this, you need to go back before watching this video, because you'll get confused, OK? So what's the probability that a mother dog with nine puppies has seven females? Well, this is the binomial probability of seven successes in a sample size of nine, where p equals 0.5. And why is it 0.5? Because half could be male and half could be female. 0.5 is half, isn't it? So using this formula, we've got a nine choose seven here. p is 0.5, so it's to the seventh power, see, the r. Then we do 1 minus 0.5, 1 minus the p, and that's to the 9 minus 7th power. See? The n minus rth power. OK? Well, 1 minus 0.5, 1 minus a half is a half. So we end up with 0 0.57, 0 0.5 to the 7th times 0.5 to the 2nd. These have like bases, so we can just add the exponents. We have 0.5 to the 9th. The 9 choose 7 is 9 factorial over 7 factorial times 9 minus 7 factorial, which gives us a 2 factorial here, doesn't it? We can write the 9 factorial with a factor of 7 factorial and cancel them out, so we end up with a 9 times 8 over 2. That's a 72 over 2, which equals 36. We multiply it by the 0 0.5 to the ninth power. We get this nice long decimal that can be rounded off to approximately 0.07. OK? Now let me show you another one because this is a slightly bit different. A baseball player is a .300 hitter. He's a 300 hitter. That means he hits 30% of the time. And what's the probability that the player will get at least four hits in five times at bat? This is going to be P equals .3. This is the probability of four hits plus the probability of five hits. So we're going to do five choose four with the p to the rth power times 1 minus 0.3 to the n minus rth power. Then we're going to do 5 choose 5 on this side times the p to the rth power times 1 minus p to the n minus rth. See? So we have an addition sign in the middle here. So to simplify this right here, 1 minus 0.3 is going to give us a 0.7, and it's going to be the first power, isn't it? So it's just going to be a 0.7, isn't it? OK? On this side, this drops down, this drops down. We have 1 minus 0.3, which is a 0.7. But because it's to the 5 minus 5, it's to the 0 power. So this actually becomes a 1, doesn't it? Anything to a 0 exponent is a 1. All right? We write our 5 choose 4 like this. 5 minus 4 factorial is a 1 factorial. We can write the 5 factorial with a factor of 4 factorial and cancel them out. So we have 5 over 1, which is just a 5. We've got 0.3 to the 4th power times 0.7. That gives us 0 0.00567. OK, we have our plus sign. Here we have 5 choose 5. These two factorials are going to cancel out, aren't they? And then we're going to have a 0 factorial. 0 factorial equals a 1. So. That's just a 1, so 0.3 to the 5th power is 0 0.00243. Got a 1 here, so it's just going to be 0 0.00243 on this side of the plus sign. We do 5 times 0 0.00567 and get 0 0.02835. We add it to this decimal and get 0 0.03078 of hitting 4 of 5 times at bat. Okay? All right, let's try one more. The effectiveness of a certain medicine is 0.9. What's the probability that it'll be effective in at least 9 of 10 cases where P equals 0.9? So now we've got 10 choose 9, 
we've got our 0.9 as our p to the ninth power, that's the r, then times 1 minus 0.9 to the 10 minus 9, okay? That's going to give us a 0.1 to the first power, isn't it? On this side, we've got 10 choose 10, and our p is 0.9, and it's going to be to the 10th power, that's the r, and 1 minus 0.9 to the 10 minus 10, okay? Here's our formula that we're following, all right? So this here is going to simplify as 0.1 to the 0 power, isn't it? Which means, again, we've got a 1 here, all right? We can write the 10 choose 9 as 10 factorial over 9 factorial times 10 minus 9 factorial. We write the 10 factorial with a factor of 9 factorial and cancel them out. So we've just got 10 over 1, that's a 10. Here we've got our 0.9 to the 9th power times 0.1. We get this nice long decimal. Here we can cancel out these two 10 factorials, can't we? And 0.9 to the 10th power comes out as this. It's times 1, so it's just still this, okay? We multiply 10 times our nice long decimal, and we get this nice long decimal. We add it to this one, and we get this nice long decimal. We can round it to 0.74, can't we, because of that 6? Put an approximation sign. So 0.74 of effectiveness in 9 out of 10 cases for that medicine, okay? That's the effectiveness of it, okay? So if you're confused at all, it probably would come in with the factorials. Otherwise, just watch the video again and see how I did this. And make sure you haven't skipped any of the lessons all along because that's going to make it harder for you to climb up and forward, okay? Our next lesson is going to be in Chapter 16, and we're going to talk about statistics and organizing data. And I hope you're having a great day. I hope everything is going well. Keep up the good work, and I'll see you next time. Bye.